Hey, Hannah, how are you? I'm good. It's nice to see you both again. I know. <laughs> uh, it's been a while. And congratulations on season two. Um, our first question is, since you this is your second season and everything is kind of rolling along, what does Frumily mean to you now since, you know, you've had a whole season, you're on your own, you're, you're your own kid now, you're doing all this good stuff. What's Frumily mean to you? I think Frumily to me is the people within the show, the people watching the show, the characters in the show, everything that has to do with the show is the Frumily. So I like to see, you know, all the audience and what they think, because they are just as much a part of it as the people who make it. So I think it's it's very, very special. And I love it. I love that it's called Frumily. That's just the cutest thing also. It is the cutest thing. Um, so this kind of goes back to the first episode when you are telling the story to Ethan and freaking him out. So what at this point, what is Hannah thinking about Ethan's theory that this is a quest? Yeah, I think that it's very interesting. And I think that Ethan's character definitely has a big impact on the show. And I think that while he might get looked at as just the kid who's just, you know, having these childlike thoughts, I think that he might actually be on to something and 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 he might be the key to all of this. I don't know, Ethan, he's got the Cromonocle. It can't be mentioned that much to not mean something, you know? I think it's it's very interesting in the quest and yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I think as well. <laughs> She's got me on board with that. So I'm I'm watching him with this stick and I'm like, he's gotta be the wizard. Um, yeah, that's wizard. so true, he's like a little, he's like a warlock. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, you know, so we- fast. We just had uh, Scott on our podcast, and I wanted to talk a little bit about your relationship, Julie, with Victor. Has it changed since episode last episode with the with the um, Colony House? And you know, it seems like you've gotten a lot more mature in a, in since this season. So, what's your relationship with Victor, and does it grow more in this season? Yeah, I think. Um you know, he saved her life and that definitely doesn't go unnoted to Julie and there will be scenes in the show where, yeah, their, their relationship is, um, I really like it. I think it's very sweet. I just, Victor with any character is just, just Victor. Victor's just the best. I just love Victor. It, it's, unless your name is Elgin. <laughs> yeah, well, there that, like that Elgin. Leader, not on the good side with Victor. Yeah. For no reason. Um, so Last season, we saw a lot of Julie looking for her independence and um, breaking away from the family. What does Julie want this season? Um, yeah, so just like you said, first season was independence. Second season, especially after um, the potential loss of both her parents, it really is family. And she understands that family is the most important thing to her and she has to really step up and it, she can't be be it selfish anymore she can't think only about herself she has to think about these people around her and her family like it is the most important thing to her and I think that that's it's a really beautiful thing to see in season two how much she she steps back in and just the Matthews family just grows so much together and I think it's, it's a great dynamic I agree that's great um I do have another question you know we were going along this this thing where it's kind of like Dungeons and Dragons where everybody has a role where, like we just said, Ethan is a wizard and, and all this. What do you think Julie's role in this whole quest would be? Or what, where, where do you think Julie is fits into that? What I love about Julie is that I don't think that she's so much of a go get him strong leader like Boyd or Donna or Jade, like heavily seeking out the answers like Boyd going into the woods. I don't think that that's Julie. And what I love about Julie is that she is okay with being on the sidelines and that she is, she will support where it needs. If her dad, she will, she will support him and her mom. And she understands like, mom, talk to me. You don't have to go through this alone. Whatever you're going through, I am here for you. And I think that it's, it's a really great thing to see Julie be, more like the supportive person. I'm not sure any Dungeons and Dragons are characters that are like that, but. <laughs> you know what, support, support comes from a lot of different places and, and the way you're playing her, I think is she's really grown. And I think that the viewers are really appreciating it. 
compared to the first episode where, you know, you were a little bratty there, but you know what? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> we all have our moments. We do, and I yeah, think that still she does. justified in the loss of her little brother. There was so much already on her shoulders, and to just get thrown into this nightmare is just one thing after the next, you know? Absolutely. So this is probably our last question because it's a fast six minutes. Why do you think, or Julie, uh, whichever, Julie or Hannah, why do either of you think that the Matthews family ended up in this godforsaken place? Julie, um, as she says in one of the later episodes in season one, I forget which one, she really thinks about what Fatima said to her. And she's, she really thinks like, what if we were meant to come here? What if we were chosen because now they're coming back together? And Ethan was like, we never play games around the table. And Julie really took that to heart and thought, what if this is why we're here? We are here to rebuild what has been broken within our family. And I think that's a very, very interesting very interesting view to have to think that are these people chosen why are these people there's obviously something that is wrong within each and every character that's something that has happened to them so i wonder if that's why they're being chosen for this town and you can see it while people's backstories unravel why maybe they could become here so i kind of mm-hmm. agree Julie on that yeah well um, thank well thank you so much where they're going to kick us out and have a wonderful uh season and we'll see you every Sunday and hopefully we we'll get you back on after after it's all over. Thank yeah, you so great. much. Nice to see you guys again. You got it. Bye bye now. Bye.